Hi, it's Keith Allred. I wanted to tell you what it's like to have an epic relationship. To me, an epic relationship is one that's always progressing, always growing for the better. Anytime it flatlines or if it goes down, that's not an epic relationship. So, I have had an epic relationship and I still am growing my relationship. It's getting more and more amazing all the time. And one of the things that I use to measure my relationship is how long it's been since I've had contention in my relationship. So this can work at home, it can work at, it works with people at work that you have to deal with and it also works with the friends that you play with and uh, fun things that you do. So any type of relationship in your life what you can do is you measure how long it's been since you've had contention. It's okay to disagree. That doesn't mean you're having contention. And respect people when you disagree with them. That's always good. But uh, what is contention? Contention is when you're actually arguing your point or trying to impose your point upon them or they're trying to impose their point upon you. So contention is not a happy thing and the longer you can have between contentious periods or contention, that's how you measure how epic your relationship is. Now, when I was first married, I used to have contention all the time. In fact, it was like we had contention on top of contention. We were always walking on eggshells and, and you had to be really careful or you're going to offend somebody. And that's how it was in my relationship when I was first married. In fact, when I was raising my kids, I would ask them to do things and often they were normal kids. They didn't always do them right away and so that brought some contention in the home. And uh, that, so it's never been quite perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. But I'll tell you what, we actually calculated how long it's been since I've had contention, me personally. And uh, we calculated it based upon, we didn't realize when exactly it started, but we figure, near as we can figure, it's been 10 months since I've contributed contention to the home. That doesn't mean we haven't had disagreements. It's okay to politely talk things out and work out our disagreements, but to actually have contention and to have collusion and arguments and things like that, it's been over 10 months. That includes me and my spouse, includes me and my children. And that's an amazing thing, 10 months since the last time we've had contention. So my challenge to you is calculate how long has it been since you've had contention in the home? And some of the key indicators are, do you get ticked off? Do you get upset or frustrated? Or do you get uh, uh, angry? So check those things out, ask yourself those questions and give yourself the challenge to erase the contention out of your life. My name's Keith Allred with Empowerment Trainings. I do epic relationships in 90 days or less, and I want you to join me, and I'll help you have epic relationships. Thank you.